Chu Dai Fook is a Hong Kong based Chinese jeweler, participate in both China and internal markets. So we believe their experience will give us a new insight on the global development. So now let's welcome uh, Ms. Barbara Wu from Chu Dai Fook. Good afternoon, everyone. This is Barbara, and I in charge of the um, Total Jewelry Solutions divisions of Dell Typhoon Group, which I will come to more details later on what is this division is about. First of all, I would like to take this opportunity to thank SGE and also UOB to select and invite Dell Typhoon to take part in this important developments of their international boards. And uh, we feel very honored to be part of this exciting and important development. So now let us um, wind, wind back the time a little bit uh, to talk about like when is our relationship between uh, Zhao Dai Folk and uh, SGE started. So going back to the years of 2012, that is the time when Zhao Dai Folk was uh, the general members of SGE. And in four years time, so we became an appointed as the reference, mem uh, reference prize members and becoming the one, one of the two jewelry enterprise in their committees eligible in submitting price for their reference. And until these years, along with the developments that SGEI is doing, so we are very uh, honored to be selected as their strategic partner to participate in this um, overseas, you know, uh, overseas developments of their board. And uh, Zhao Daifu actually in this collaboration is playing a role of um, being, the manu uh, being the entrusted processing manufacturers. And then we'll ask, like, why? So let us maybe get to know us as a company, Zhao Dai Folk, a little bit more. So allow me to go through uh, a few important milestones. Zhao Dai Folk, we started in 1929, uh, our first store in Guangzhou, and uh, selling mainly the gold jewelry. And from now, if you count your fingers, you know, like uh, we are in our 90th uh, anniversaries. And through these years, there are uh, numbers of important milestones that say a lot about us as a company, as uh, what is our company missions. So let me share uh, one or two here. So started, started with the 1950s. That is the time where, you know, uh, lots of the gold jewelry products, uh, the gold contents are very much, you know, like uh, confused. So uh, we launched it. We launched the, um, or we should say, we pioneered the product of using 999.9 .9 content of gold to call it as a 24 karat gold jewelry. So this is very much setting ourselves um, the standards of um, the 24 karat gold jewelry, as well as it had been widely accepted by the industry, and also eventually being um, being 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 set as the regulations by the government in the 80s. So this says a lot about us as a company is that uh, we're looking for policy or the way to do business that is not only about our own business, but the sustainability of the industry also. So then um, the second, the second um, I would say milestones that we are proud to share is in the 90s, where the market is also very much about like a price up and down markets. You know, people put their tech price high and then try to do discount. Um, that is the years where we found, you know, to make sure we don't lose our customers' confidence. So we launched our fixed price policy. This is a policy that we don't do discount and uh, we basically honor what is the true best price, you know, on our tech price. And uh, this is actually gaining a lot of um, customers' confidence over not only us as a company, but over the uh, fine jewelry category. So um, this is also a, a milestone that we are very proud to share. And in the 90s, uh, 98, that was the year we first opened our first stores 
in China, in Beijing. And now, um, in more than, in around 20 years, you know, like we are up to 3,000 stores. So uh, this is also marked at a very important development in our growth in China. And um, then I would like to share uh, in, two, in 2011, that is the year we went listed, and we listed in the Hong Kong Stock Exchange, and that is the, also the same year we kick off our e-commerce business. So afterwards, the business continued to grow, and in the two, uh, 2016 is a year uh, we enacted a very important launch of ours called T Mark Diamonds, and this is uh, this is a, a, a product where allows the traceability of the diamonds to make transparency to our customers. And again, this is, uh, we strongly believe that this is a very important move, you know, in our industries that to allow, um, to allow uh, uh, customers confidence to continue build in the natural diamonds. And, um, and then the last two, three years, last two, three years, like since 2016, the company also adopted the uh, multi-brand strategies. And uh, step by step, the company has put forward um, uh, other brands other than the Zhou Daifu names calls, such as uh, So Enough, Monologue, and Atrium. So this is obviously continuing, you know, in our development portfolio. So I feel competitive uh, strength, you know, lies very much on our vertical integration, you know, like uh, we are very vertically integrated um, business models. We purchase uh, rough and we also uh, um, uh, polish um, loose diamonds and our annual output is around 270,000 carat per year. And, uh, and then we also put forward raw material gold and diamonds into our manufacturing of jewelry. On yearly basis, we have around like 60 million um, jewelry pieces sold. Um, we have four production uh, hubs, which I'll come into more details in, a, in, a, in the next few slides. And um, we also show through, I mentioned earlier, um, we show through uh, 3,000 uh, POS and also over 70s um, e-commerce platforms and the whole company have like 32 uh, thousands employees and under a very dynamic management teams with a uh, diversity in our nationality and background. So these slides uh, give us a glance of like what are the product range that Zhao Daifu as a retail brand names that embrace. You can tell from these slides that we started from very commercial range of products, you know, like from lots of like IP products that we license with uh, to a middle, you know, like a, a, a mid-range price uh, commercial products up to a very, very high-end auction pieces. And this actually uh, reflects a lot of like what is our production capacity and capability in, term, uh, in our production hubs, which I'll come to, um, share, come to share more about our four uh, production, uh, pu sorry, production hubs. So we have four production hubs uh, respectively located um, in Shenzhen, in Shunde, Wuhan, and Hong Kong. So the one, each one of them actually have a very clear positioning within our, um, within our group so that it, they deliver uh, different attributes and uh, different uh, capacity to fulfill our product needs. First of all, I would like to zoom in a little bit on the Sanjian one. The Sanjian R&D and Smart Manufacturing Center, actually located in Sanjian, obviously, and it's uh, focused on the research and developments of different metals, different way of uh, doing uh, or making jewelries, and it's an incubator of our uh, product developments. And uh, we have dedicated team focused on the application of advanced technology machines, you know, from, uh, from all over the world. So altogether, it has, uh, it has 800 uh, employees and uh, producing 1.6 million pieces of jewelry on average annually. 
The second one's located in Sunda. Sunda is actually a place, is a hometown of our founders of Zhao Dai Fu. And um, this, this, this is uh, what we call is like a, um, a Tiziano, like focus on the traditional craftsmanship and heritage, you know, like from the uh, from the traditional way of making jewelry. Uh, while we are also applying advanced technology, so uh, this campus has been 30 years in Sunda, producing 4.4.7 million pieces of jewelry and outfit, and in average, and has 3,000 workers altogether. The third one I would like to mention is the one uh, newly set up in Wuhan for five years, for the last five years. And it produces 2.6 million pieces per year and uh, having around like 1,200 um, employees. This one is particularly focusing on um, smart management, you know, in our productions. And it applied like contemporary production management. Um, emphasize a lot in automations, in the speed and efficiency uh, management. It also functions as our logistic hubs for our e-commerce business in China for the order fulfillment. So with all these um, very strong and very well established um, production facilities that we have, Zhao Dai Fu feel very strong about uh, the potentials that we can go to the overseas market through our export division, which is we call it total jury, uh, total jury solutions uh, divisions. And basically, this division is riding on the resources, infrastructures, technology, and allowing us to provide a very trusted white label manufacturing to our customers, which include providing you know, very quality products, a wide range of products for OEM type of nature of business, OBM and ODM. So we connect, uh, we through this uh, production manufacturing capacity, we connect to our retail partners and other wholesale partners around the world. So then, uh, in the contents of today's, you know, like we particularly highlight a few um, key categories in our go uh, product in our go product productions. For example, the figurines, you know, be it small or big, uh, go nooks, go corn, and ingot, um, and also wedding set, the ancient gold finish, you know, uh, jewelry, the IP brands jewelry, you know, like we are doing uh, lots of IT brands such as like Disney and all that. Um, and uh, of course, like the daily essential jewelries using uh, pure gold. Other than pure gold, we also are very um, uh, strong in producing uh, gem set jewelry, you know, like diamond set, uh, ruby, sapphire, or all kind of gem set. So we uh, produce into all kind of jewelry, such as like for bridal and uh, anniversary bands, for fashion jewelry, daily essential jewelry, as well as for self-purchase, low price items. So all in all, you know, I think uh, earlier on, um, the uh, both uh, Ms. Zhao and uh, also um, uh, Mr. Young has, uh, has ex elaborated a lot on how this collaboration works, you know, like in terms of uh, the bank uh, serve as like financing of the, um, of the gold products uh, to service uh, to the partners, as well as, you know, as GE is facilitating the gold leasing or the co-purchase. Meanwhile, Zhao Daifu is uh, playing a role in the manufacturing as the entrusted processing partner. So this, all in all, is providing us a very, like, a lots of advantages, you know, like providing us a golden opportunity in business, including, you know, like our facilities enabling the gold to be turned around very fast from the world in Sanjian because uh, we are also having our facility in Sanjian that is uh, what we call like a bonded warehouse zone, and uh, it allows like the goal le uh, the goal leasing actually allows um, any one of you you know to minimize your price risk, uh, making sure the goals are non conflict and also uh, with high quality and more so you know is uh, is allowing also a very direct logistic directly from China to uh, Singapore to the country here. 
So that is uh, very much towards the end of uh, my presentation or sharing. But this year, South Africa is, uh, is celebrating our 90th anniversaries. So I would like to take the opportunity here to give uh, less than three minutes uh, short videos to um, summarize who we are as a, as a group. Wh who, uh, and also we believe very much into heritage, innovations, and also sharing. Thank you, Robert, for your sharing. Your presentation just uh, helped us to see the possibility of this cooperation and also draw us a new path of business development. Mm -hmm.